guys welcome back to the channel thank you for all the support on the previous videos i appreciate the likes the comments and let me know what you guys want to see and stuff like that keep that up for sure uh today i don't really have much to video it was kind of raining all day yesterday i'm with my buddy brian who i talked about at the end of the last video uh if we get a little dry stretch of road i'm gonna get a little pull and i'll get his reaction to the mustang so y'all could get that get a little laugh out of that we'll probably be spinning quite a bit so i won't go too crazy but Right, guys if you didn't see in the first video I posted I'll just go over what is basically done to the car so it is a 2002 body style new edge Mustang it had a 4.6 liter v8 in it uh, the original plan was to build that motor go boost route on that but if ever if anyone knows anything about the 4.6 it really can't hold that power uh, you're gonna get more power out of an all-motor coyote than if you put 20 psi boost on that 4.6 not to hurt any of the new edges guys feelings with that but it's just everyone knows that everyone wants to do this to the car it's just the it, it's very hard to do to the car uh, so it is a 5.0 302 cubic inch 5.0 liter coyote v8 it has the cold air intake aerate cold air intake throttle body upgrade the 2018 manifold so that will let you rev a lot higher and keep power up high in the rpm the stock manifold once you're at like 6500 you start plummeting in horsepower so it's better to shift a lot of people lose a lot of races trying to stay revved out when they're really losing power so this lets you keep rpm all the way to about 8000 still making over 400 horsepower on this car uh, it has long tube headers if you can see here BBK long tube headers, uh, off-road X-pipe, and a full SLP exhaust. It has the SVE Performance radiator, a two-inch radiator, which is a huge upgrade from the original radiator. It takes a lot more coolant, but it keeps this car nice and cool. The original one is like three quarters of an inch, so I don't even know if I don't know if it would be a problem, but it was only like $150, $200, so you might as well keep this motor happy. It's such an expensive motor. Um, yeah, it's a full bolt-on car. Uh, the only other thing I really could do without uh, going boost or something and building the motor would be going on E85, which I am up in the air about. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, it's not a daily driver, so I wouldn't necessarily mind the hassle of E85 with testing and all that stuff. I might get like a flex fuel tune so I could still run 93 whenever I don't have E85. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, if you want to see what it could do, who it could beat as it is, or if you want me to go on E85, just let me know what you guys think with that. Uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in like German cars or anything like that. I'm not a big German car guy. I drive an Audi as a daily driver, but if y'all want any videos on that, I could, I mean, I'm not amused by it. It's just a daily for me, but I mean, I could go over everything. It's the, it's a 2017 Audi Quattro, you know whatever if y'all want me to go into details on it or go over anything you got any questions with that you want me to make a video on that i could definitely do that too just let me know thank you guys for tuning in to another video thank you for the support on all the other videos don't forget to like comment share tell your friends about it subscribe to the channel let me know what you guys want to see and uh yeah thanks for tuning in peace